Hello, it's another great day for math. So in this question, actually, um, those students who take more abstract math, like additional math, should find this no problem. But for those of us who don't, it's really about the situation when given a formula and have so many variables, you have to understand how they affect each other. So first and foremost, n is the number of bacteria. Okay, it's a variable. And t, very importantly, is the time in the power here. You realize you have an unknown m. And actually our first job is to use info, like in part a, to find out what the value of m is. So let's do that. Number of bacteria 2000, this is talking about n. After one hour, this is talking about t. So n is equals to m times 2 power 3t. And I'm going to fit 2000 here and we're going to find out and we're going to fit in the one here now using my calculator i have 2000 is 2 power 3 8 m and all i have to do is find the value of m by taking 2000 divided by 8 and that gives us 250 all right so no problem what's very important now is that the formula now is updated where m is now 250 multiplied to 2 power 3 t. Now note, t is still a variable, time taken, and n is the number of bacteria. So now to answer this part, in terms of k, find the number of bacteria, the n, when 8 power t is equals to k. So where in the world did this 8 power t come from? Using indices, you know that 8 actually is 2 to the power of 3, right? So what's left behind is actually uh, 8t, exactly this expression here. Okay, and I'm going to replace it with k. So writing it out fully, we have n, the number of bacteria we're going to find is 250 replacing 2 power 3t with k, simply k, which is 250k. A very simple expression to show the number of bacteria that is left. And that's the answer, that's all. 250k.